this morning's newspaper. Holmes, have you read this article about you? No, Watson, not yet, and I won't have time to. Read it before you leave. It's outrageous. If you insist. Prince Woodville, French culinary expert and bagpipe player, might be our next king. That's not so shocking, my dear fellow. You know exactly to which article I'm referring, Holmes. How can Farley dare to tarnish your reputation like that? You know, Watson, that wherever glory walks, jealousy is bound to follow. As for the forgery of the necklace, I suspect that we shall soon be enlightened in this regard. Come in, Inspector Baines. The door's open. Ah... Mr. Holmes, how did you know I was here? You are one of our rare visitors who avoids the second-to-last step of the stairs, which creaks dreadfully. And if I add the clinking of the handcuffs at your belt, to what do we owe the pleasure of your visit, Inspector? Have you read that, Rag? Inspector, I assume that you have the fake necklace with you. It's why you're here. Your superiors would like me to examine it. Indeed. They would like you to confirm or deny putting this fake in the box. Can't that wait? I must go to the house of Lord Peregrine Maitland, the Bishop of Knightsbridge. Inspector, can you explain this slander? Has the necklace of the Samoas really been replaced by a fake? I don't know how the reporter got hold of the information, but it's true. About the necklace, of course. I wouldn't permit myself to question the integrity and honesty of Mr. Holmes. The necklace is a forgery? Impossible! I saw the Marquis authenticated before my very eyes, before Holmes returned it to its place. Mr. Holmes, the Marquis believes Osmond Farley's theory. I shouldn't be surprised if the reporter isn't behind all this slander about you. He's a freelancer, well known for his explosive and subjective articles. In any case, the Marquis assures us that you were the last person to have the necklace in your hands. Let's return to the Marquis's house, Holmes. I'm sure that we'll have no trouble in taking apart this theory. It is unnecessary. Such allegations collapse on their own, like one of Mrs. Hudson's souffles. Let us leave the police to solve this problem and turn our attention to the matters in hand. Perhaps you are right, Holmes. And the Marchioness? She is beside herself. Without the necklace, her marriage is compromised. It is the principal item of the young woman's dowry. What a lovely marriage! Holmes, forgive me for insisting, but don't you want to examine the fake jewellery? Watson, I have an appointment, and it's out of the question that I arrive late. It will only take you a couple of minutes. You really must quell the suspicions put forward in this appalling article. If you will allow me, Inspector? Be my guest. Very well. I cannot leave now. This pearl is a different color. This pearl is a di These three pearls are of poor quality. This pearl is too small. It is not in its place here. Too many defects. This necklace is a fake.
This is nothing but a vulgar copy, and at a glance it would appear that the forger has intended for it to be seen as such. How could we have been fooled by such a blatant imitation? I don't understand. Yes, how is it possible? Holmes, do you have a theory about this? I have absolutely no idea. You insisted that I examine the necklace, and I have done so. Now it is important that I keep my appointment. I'm sure, Inspector, that you will throw some light on this affair. Holmes. You may accompany me, Watson, if you care to do so. Goodbye, gentlemen. I'll keep you informed as to my inquiries. Goodbye, Inspector. You mentioned a bishop, didn't you? Are we going to his home? Yes, the Bishop of Knightsbridge. I put his address on our map of London on my desk. Would you get it for me, please? All right, Holmes. This bust was used to fool Colonel Moran during the case of the empty house. The work table, where Holmes analyzes things. Holmes's homemade analyzer. I have found your map. The police? Already? How did you know? May we see the Bishop of Knightsbridge? Yes. Yes, of course. But come in. What has happened, Reverend? What? I... I don't know. It was last night, I think. I only just arrived, and I have made this macabre discovery. My God, how horrible. I haven't called anyone. How did you know that? Holmes! Look! The bishop, appallingly mutilated. How dreadful! Mutilated! And killed! He was such a good man. How could anyone be so brutal? Look at him. He is barely recognizable now. How could any of God's children be responsible for that? They were evidently unworthy children, Reverend. Now do please try to calm yourself and focus, because we will need your assistance. Do you have any idea as to the motive behind this? I haven't had time to do an inventory, but nothing appears to have been stolen. And anyway, His Excellency didn't own anything of great value. I don't know what else I can tell you. Note this down, please, Doctor. Doctor? But you aren't the police? No, Reverend. I am Sherlock Holmes, and this is Dr. Watson. We are here at the request of the Bishop. In that case, I must ask you to leave, and not to touch anything. I must get in touch with the authorities without further delay. Uh, Reverend, when the inspectors of Scotland Yard find themselves at a dead end, which they quite often do, I assure you, then they turn to me for help. If you allow us to continue our investigation, then you shall have the answers to all of your questions. Out of the question! I don't even know you! I'm going to call the police, whether you like it or not. It would be better for everyone, Reverend, if you kept your temper. Watson, are you taking notes? This affair promises to be a complex one, therefore we must not overlook the slightest detail. Yes, Holmes. I am keeping a meticulous set of notes. I have created a very clever deduction board. One thing we can be sure of at the moment is that this crime was not for gain. The Reverend has informed us that nothing valuable was stolen, and indeed it would seem that the Bishop had nothing of any worth to take. Very good, Watson. Do continue. You can see by his expression that he suffered terribly. 
His mouth is covered in blood, and I can make out strips of skin between his teeth. His chest has been lacerated, I would say, with a very sharp and fine blade. The fingers have been crushed and violently struck. His forearms have been ripped. Pieces of skin have been torn off. What do you think, Watson? I'd say that he was eaten alive. Yet I've noticed a curious degeneration of the skin tissue around the wounds. My dear friend, everything points to this man having gnawed at his own forearms. That's unbelievable, Holmes. The fingers have been crushed and violently struck. His stomach is covered in scratches. Quite evidently, they weren't made recently. So, these wounds were not made by his murderers. A piece of rope that was used to tie up that poor man. This poor man was tied just below the knees. To stop him from walking, certainly, but mostly to free his feet. These burns are terrible. A finger. Apparently, it doesn't belong to the Bishop of Knightsbridge. How dreadful! His feet have been burned. Hmm. My first impression is that he wears a size 9 shoe. You? But what does it matter, Holmes? My God! God, Holmes, this man was horribly tortured. Something is missing here. Oh, yes? And what might that be? His shoes. Watson, his shoes are missing. A broken file and blood near the neck. What a strange smell. Ooh, chemical components, I think. A bottle of whiskey. I can make out fingerprints stained with blood and dirt. There is blood on this paperweight. This paperweight was used to crush the victim's fingers. A whip? No, it is a discipline for... This metal rod is for fastening the chilies. It's a silice. This very pious... The picture of Peregrine Maitland, commander of the infantry brigade of Her Majesty's Guards at Waterloo. The Bishop of Knightsbridge has the same name as his ancestor. An illustrious family. A surgical scalpel covered in blood. There isn't any doubt the wounds on the bishop were administered with this scalpel. Closed. The veranda door hasn't been forced. Strange. Reverend, might I have the key? No! You have no authority here. Let me call the police. Perhaps we should listen to him, Holmes. Perhaps you should let me get on with this, Watson. Closed. Impossible.